Okay, here's something a little bit different. Those of you who have seen my videos on YouTube uh, would be aware that I rave about the Zoom 3030. I think it's an absolute classic. It's got so many fun sounds in it. This one's been modified to take batteries. Eight double A's will keep it going for hours and hours. The end's been sliced off along here because there was a needless extension of plastic there. All the electronics that we know and love in the centre there. And I've replaced the very tiny and strangely curved wire pedal that comes shipped with this machine with something nice and flat and big that feels good on the foot. So I'll try to get it all in shot here. That'll just about do it. And yeah, we'll listen to some sounds. Going back to this distortion for a minute. Not really happy with that one. Let's see if we can get a bit more buzz out of this distortion. I do like the fuzz sounds on this pedal. hear anything I was saying there, it's all quite loud. Let's go to the next bank. interesting take there on feedback and modulation, uh, ring modulation working together.
I don't know how well that's coming through on your home computer speakers, but uh, it's a really floor-shaking synth. <laughs> subatomic stuff that this pedal does so well. Last set of user settings here. chance to do a little bit more tweaking on a good distortion. This is a special effects section. Switch that group on. You add your basics like chorus. Pitch shifting there which you probably can't hear because I'm recording this in mono. effects in uh, bank number five.
Maybe I've dwelled on that a little bit too long. thing I'll do is assign the pedal to that modulated effect. Gives you an ideal idea of how versatile this pedal is and these modifications have basically just made it portable and comfortable to use. Love the Zoom 3030, it's a true classic. <laughs>